Hey Gemini, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a weekly reading for you for August 3rd through, what is it? August 10th. <laughs> God, you think I would know it by now. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. So doing something new this week, I am offering um, extended readings for those of you that are interested. All the information you need is in the description box below. <clears throat> very easy and very, very affordable. What you get with that, you get all 12 extended readings. <clears throat> you also get two bonus readings as well. So definitely check that out if you're interested. I'm not using Vimeo, okay? Um, I do have an account with Vimeo, but this allows me to do it for a much cheaper price. For those of you that are on the cusp of wanting a private reading, it's probably the closest thing you're gonna get without doing a private reading. <laughs> so I'm putting it out there for you. <clears throat> All right, so you are gonna be represented by the white cards. Your person is gonna be represented by the black cards, okay? And I am creating designations for each card. So in other words, there's a question for each card. These two cards up here represent what you might be thinking about at night or what your person might be thinking about at night, okay? All right, so I really feel like the, the first two cards are really, really important, okay? This is your energy towards your person, and this is your person's energy towards you, all right? All right, so let's see. What is your energy towards this person? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so... I love seeing Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is one of my favorite cards, if not my favorite card, because this is somebody who knows who they are, okay? Knows who they authentically are. So I feel like that's you, Gemini. You know, you, you know who you are. You know where you're going. You know <clears throat> how you feel about this person. This is beautiful energy. You might be nurturing to this person. You might be somewhat motherly to this person. What is this person's energy towards you? We have justice. Okay, so this is card of Libra. You might be dealing with a Libra. <coughs> you know, the justice card, you know, you see the two scales there. One of these scales represents the past. One of these scales represents the future. It's like this person is deciding where they want to focus their energy. Are you their past or are you their future? All right. This particular card shows these uh, the scale being very equal. So you might be in their past. You might be in their future as well. <clears throat> Justice can be can be marriage or divorce or can be contracts as well. So this person might have intentions of marriage towards you. This person might have intention of divorce towards you. Um, <clears throat> either way, you are being true to yourself. That's why I love Queen of Pentacles because Queen of Pentacles is always true to herself she doesn't care what other people think. I love seeing this. You know, that is, you know, that's me. Okay, that's, I identify with the Queen of Pentacles. I'm a Capricorn. Um, I don't care what other people think. I've never been the person that goes shopping with girlfriends and, you know, asks 20 times what they think about how I look in an outfit. 
I can go shopping by myself, find an outfit, find shoes, find a purse, whatever, based on what I like. You know, but there are people that can't do that. There are people that are very, very concerned about what other people think. So I feel like this also says that you're not concerned about what other people think. That only serves you, okay? All right, so what do we have for the second card? This is about what you might see as threatening this connection, okay? And we have 10 of cups. All right, so you might feel like, and again, you're authentic. You're authentic towards this person. <clears throat> so you might feel like this person could bring you complete emotional fulfillment. So again, going back to this justice card, you know, this person might be getting a divorce. This might, this person might be wanting to get married. You might feel like the emotion that you have for this person could threaten this connection. You know, and with you as the Queen of Pentacles, that's surprising, okay? Because if you're the Queen of Pentacles, then you know that Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment, you know, that's where you find your authenticity in your feelings. So it's like this tells me that you're not afraid of this. So the fact that this is coming up, in what you feel threatens the connection, that's that's surprising. Hey, Barney. All right. Hey. Hey. All right. All right. It's the mailman. It's the mailman. Hey. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> When the mailman comes, there's a big to-do here, okay? <clears throat> okay. Hey, knock it off. All right, so what does this person think threatens the connection? Emperor. All right. <clears throat> so you actually might have the control in this connection. This person knows it, okay? Okay. I don't think you advertise that. I don't. I don't think you advertise it. Um, but this person thinks that the, you know, the control that you might have when it comes to this connection, like you can say yes or no to this connection. Of course, this person could too. But I don't feel like they see it that way. I feel like Barney. Hey, are you kidding me? Knock it off. Stop it. Hey. All right. <clears throat> I feel like this person feels like you have a certain control. So that means that this person probably feels that you have some type of control over them. And that doesn't mean that you even know that you do. What it means is that that's this person's perception. So this person might be deeply into this connection more so than you know. And you are deeply into this connection because you're worried about the level of feelings that you have for this person. You think it's too much. You think it's too much. So that tells me, if you think that this is too much, that you're not being completely authentic. Because this person also feels like you have control. So that tells me that you haven't told this person completely how you feel. All right? So what's keeping you up at night? And it might be you, it might be your person. Movement. So, 
You know, it's like, what's happening with this connection? What's happening? Is it moving forward? Is it moving backwards? Going back to the justice card here, were we more happy in the past or do we see happiness in the future? It's, it's one or the other. It's like, where does this person want to place their energy? I feel like they want to place it in the future. <clears throat> I feel like you do too. All right, so this third card is about what you're not sure of, okay, when it comes to this connection. It also is for this person, what this person is not sure of when it comes to this connection. We also have hope. Both of you, I feel like, are hoping for movement, but you're hoping that the other person, you're hoping that you don't love this person more than they love you, is what it comes down to. <clears throat> you're hoping that this person does not love you more, or you're hoping that you don't love this person more than they love you. All right, so what are you not sure of? Nine of Cups. Okay, so they, look at this, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups. <clears throat> You're not sure that this person sees you as their wish fulfillment. That makes you uncomfortable. You want to be their one and only. What is this person not sure of? <clears throat> Five of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> So, you can see that these three cups up here have spilled over. And then this person down here is holding these two of cups, but they're looking in a different direction. So, this person definitely has a two of cups connection with you. But there's something here, three of cups, something represents this three of cups that have spilled over, that are empty, okay? You know, this person could have lost a friend. This person could have lost a job. This person could have lost you, okay? So they have some sadness that they're, they're not sure of. They're not sure of this connection because, you know, they're looking away from these Two of Cups. The Two of Cups mutual connection is here. You're not sure that this person sees you as their heart's desire. And neither are they. They have two of cups here. But three cups have spilled over. So it tells me that you two have had some turmoil. You've had some turmoil in this connection. Which is okay. Completely okay. You know, both of you are hoping for movement in this connection. Okay? Okay. This is what you think about at night. You think about, you know, what is this person going to do next? How is this person going to communicate with me? What do they want? What do they want from me? Am I their heart's desire? <clears throat> do I have too many feelings for this person? Am I too in love with this person? Are they not really in love with me? If the Two of Cups is here, you know, it says there's a mutual connection. So what you feel, they feel. So worrying about Nine of Cups or Ten of Cups is pointless because the Two of Cups is here. So these two cards represent assumptions. What assumptions are you making about this person that are not correct? Three of Wands. All right. So you might be waiting for this person to do something. And <clears throat> this card has come up a lot in this position. You might feel like this per person is purposely holding back on you. And I don't feel that that is a correct assumption. Okay? Remember, Two of Cups, what you feel, they feel. So if you're feeling insecure about the level of feelings you have, they're feeling insecure about the feelings that they have. Same thing. They want to know, you know, 
do we focus on how we were in the past or do we focus on how we are going to be in the future? I feel like this person wants to focus on the future. I feel like you do as well. And I think it's really important for you to be very authentic to who you are and what you feel, which I love seeing this. And this person actually thinks you have the control in this connection. Would that surprise you? All right, so what assumptions is this person making? All right, so we have seven of wands. They're assuming <laughs> they're assuming that you're being stubborn towards them. You're holding out on them. Is that true? I don't think so. Not with the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Nope. You want to hear something from this person and they want to hear something from you. So you're not being stubborn. You know, when Ten of Cups and Nine of Cups show up, that's that's a very vulnerable feeling. That's a very um, authentic feeling that makes you feel vulnerable to this person. So the fact that you're, you might be holding back from this person, it's because you feel very vulnerable to them. But how they see it, they see it as you trying to control what's going on between the two of you. They see it, you know, five of cups, you know, what they're not sure of. They, they feel like they might have lost you. But they still hold those cups. They still hold those two of cups, which means, you know, that the mutual connection is here. And you're both hoping for movement from the other person. All right, so let's get some clar clarification here. All right, I definitely want to clarify Queen of Pentacles. And I want to clarify Nine of Cups. For you. And for your person, I want to clarify Justice. the Emperor, and Five of Cups. All right. Queen of Pentacles, remember, this is your energy towards this person. Authentic. We've got Seven of Cups. Okay. So, <clears throat> here's the deal. Seven of Cups says you might be confused by this person. You might feel like you have a lot of choices. You might feel like you have easier choices than this person, okay? <clears throat> but does, does somebody else bring you 10 of cups? <clears throat> Very few people on the planet, okay, you'll find will bring you 10 of cups complete emotional fulfillment. I can think of one person in my life that I've had Ten of Cups with. One person. <clears throat> and I'm older. <clears throat> so, Seven of Cups says, you know, this is the energy that you're portraying towards this person. So you're portraying that you might have a lot of choices. Authentically, you have a lot of choices. That might be true, okay? Are you telling this person that you have a lot of choices? That's how they feel like you're controlling them. <clears throat> All right, so justice clarified by what? Two of wands. Okay, so two of wands, fire energy, Sag, Leo, Aries, Justice, I feel like this person wants to focus on the future. Two of Wands also says they want to focus on the future. They know what they want. They know they want you. But you're portraying to them that you have a lot of choices authentically. And I feel like that's probably true. So what is this person to do? 
<clears throat> they feel like you're controlling this connection. Emperor. This is what they feel is threatening the connection. All right, so clarifying that, we've got uh, Four of Swords. <clears throat> so what is this person doing? I feel like they're stewing. They're stewing in the fact that you actually realistically might have a lot of um, choices. And they feel like you're controlling them at the same time. So what are they doing? They're not coming towards you. They're thinking about it. They're overthinking about it. <clears throat> you guys might be on a break, some of you. All right. So you, <clears throat> you definitely have the upper hand here. I don't know if you're aware of it, but you have the upper hand. Nine of Cups. This is what you're not sure of. <coughs> you're not sure of whether or not this person sees you as wish fulfillment. What do we have? The Emperor again. So, Emperor twice, Card of Aries. <coughs> For some of you, you might be dealing with an Aries, for sure. For some of you, you know, either you or this person, I feel like it's you, actually, that could be very, um, like you have an idea of how you would like to see this unfold. And unless it unfolds in the way that you want, you're not satisfied. You have high expectations, Ten of Cups. <clears throat> That's the reality. So it's not surprising to see the Emperor here when the Emperor is down here in what's threatening this, this connection. You might be a little bit more controlling than you think. All right, so five of cups for this person, what they're not sure of. All right, so we have ace of swords. They don't know what the truth is. You know, you might feel like with queen of swords or queen of pentacles, you are very authentic. You're very truthful. They don't know what the truth is. All they know is that you have the control, and this proves it. So if you feel like you don't have control in this situation, you got to take a second look. Because you do. You do. And I don't think it's something that you're seeking. I don't think you're seeking control, but you have it. You know, it's like if there, it, you know, if this person was a fly on your wall, they would get a completely different perception. If you were a fly on this person's wall, you would get a completely different perception. It's the fly in the wall gap. Because I can see very clearly that you guys are... You're on two different pages. Two different pages. One card for your person. One card for you. So this will help us transition to the extended reading. For you, we've got the Magician. Again, you know, this is control. So the last card we pulled for you was the Three of Wands. Actually, it was the Emperor. And what comes after the Emperor? The Hierophant. All right, so the Magician giving... Um, the magician's energy to the emperor brings us up to the hierophant. So it's like, I feel like what you're hiding here or what you're not sure of is your level of commitment. What do we have for this person? 
We've got Knight of Cups. This person is holding back a lot. They're holding back a lot. And I feel like it's that Emperor energy that makes this person hold back a lot of feelings. Emperor is an intimidating energy. You might be somewhat intimidating to this person. Or <clears throat> you're, you may not be somebody that's really comfortable you know, in expressing a lot of feelings. Even though you do have a lot of feelings, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, you may not be comfortable expressing it, okay? But by not expressing it, you actually are holding control over this connection. This person seeks the truth here. They do. They see you as stubborn, and you're not. You see this person as kind of making you wait, and I feel like that instigates your control. Interesting. All right. Gemini, that is what I have for you. You know, you guys are on two different pages, but I feel like you feel the same way. But this person feels very... Um, not controlled by you, but but in a way they do. And it's a shame because you have nine of cups, ten of cups. If you could express this, it would change everything. It would. And they have a lot that they haven't said to you because of this emperor energy. I'm telling you. All right. Gemini, that's what I have for you. If you want to join me for the extended reading, feel free to do so. Again, just take a look at the description box below, and we'll get you taken care of. Oh, my God. Do you hear my dog? Wouldn't you think that he would sleep like a baby at night? That's Boogie. <laughs> All right. Have a great week. All right. Thanks. Bye.